Hey, but the person <laughs> who is the thing for us is Chef Tia, and Hello she's there. in the house right now. It's good to see you, my friend. Good to Welcome see you also. Welcome to the show. It's Thank your you. first time in our kitchen, right? It is. It is. Well, we're excited to have you. Thank so, you. tell me a little bit first. We want to get to know you, Chef Tia. Okay. So tell me about your restaurant. Chef Tia and Company. Yeah, so Chef Tia and Company, it's at 4955 West Washington Street. So we specialize in like Cajun and Creole, but uh, wings have been like a big seller. Pastas have been a big seller. So we're definitely like, that's the reason why we came to bring <laughs> Some awesome wings oh, and, and pasta. And they're, they're already doing their thing. Yeah, they're like the almost fryer. done. They're ready to come out. So. Well, I came in the studio and she's praying over the fire. Yeah. And it's, I've done the same thing, girl. I know. You're like, please work. Please do your please. thing. Um, and, and it is. So Cajun and Creole, mm -hmm. how did, or do you have Creole roots? How did that come up for you? I don't. Um, literally, like just when I was in culinary school, um, it actually um was something that i kind of wanted to learn more about and like i just found out about it i found out how much it was just a, an amazing culture and just like new orleans oh, yeah. and just like the people the food the love and the passion for food and it just made me want to just learn more about it and that's what i did well and you were telling me before that your first job was mm -hmm. working for your grandpa what you it was what you did yep so i was a cashier at his restaurant so uh, I've always been in the restaurant pretty much all my life. So, but, so when you were young, what did you say, 12? Yeah, I was 12. And did yeah. you think, oh, I want to do this for the rest of my life? Or what I was didn't your thought know. Then? I really wanted to be a nurse back then because that's what my big sister was going to school for. Mm. So I wanted to be like my sister. I wanted to be a nurse. So, you know, but that changed. We're now she comes changed. to the restaurant all the time and gets food. And so is she now like, I want to be little sister. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> She's like, I want to be like you now. So, Aww, yeah. So what have you got cooking for us? Okay, today? so we got some wings. We're going to pull these out, actually. They're okay. ready to go. So we have, our, we have a couple different sauces here that we're going to be trying out today. So we have our honey hot sauce, which is like our house signature sauce. Ooh. It's absolutely amazing. Um, is that what we should try the first time we come in? The yeah, perfect sauce. combination of the sweet and heat. Um, it's really, really good. We also have our sweet chili sauce, which is only available on uh, Wednesdays, which is our Wing Wednesday. Really amazing. It's topped with um, what we call our banger sauce. Mm -hmm. which is like a kind of like a spicy mayo type sauce mm. um, really delicious all of our sauces are made in-house from scratch we try to you know do everything as fresh as possible you know kind of get those wings tossed around in that good old sauce get them coated really well you know, I'm no wing expert, but I have a stepson who is, mm -hmm. and he says it's all about the sauce. Oh, yeah. The sauce makes them like you, like, you know, you, well, I'll say this. You have to have a good base to it. You cannot have a sauce that is a, a wing that is not seasoned properly. You have to make sure that you have a really good uh, seasoning to your wings. So, uh -huh. therefore, you know, you have to make sure that all that's ready And how do you season yours? Do you use flour or cornmeal or what's on those? I use a flour and panko breadcrumb I thought mixture. I thought they extra crispy. With a little bit of seasoning in my batter as well. And I also season my wings uh, before I actually put them on um, into the flour. So, they have a little extra of everything An in extra there. something, something. I yeah, was going to say, you guys, I've never extra. seen ones actually this crispy. This yeah, looks really good. they're actually like really, really crispy. They're delicious. I mean, like, everybody loves them. They're, they're definitely a fan favorite, so. Okay. Let's get a little parsley on there just as a little garnish. Just kind of oh, get those looks served so up. Oh, good. And then we have our sweet chili here. We'll kind of mix those up. Chef Tia, we've got about a going. minute left. Okay, yeah. I can't believe how fast the time I know, goes when it's you're cooking gone, good right? food. Yeah, absolutely. Because you also are doing a fried chicken Alfredo, yes, is that right? Yes, absolutely, yes. How'd you come up with that? Uh, so the fried chicken Alfredo came up because, uh, like, I love <laughs> pasta, for sure. Uh -huh. And fried chicken is always a staple of, like, southern cuisine. Mm -hmm. So I definitely wanted to do that. So... It was definitely an idea. I was like, okay, well, let's do this, put it together, you know, kind of see what we can do, kind of see what we can get. So once I put it together, everyone really started to love it. They said, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So we have a couple like chicken tenders here. We're gonna cut those up and put them right on top 
Um, we have a few chicken tenders, I'll say. Oh, yeah, let's we're do that. The more the merrier, extra. right? Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to cut those up and put them right on top. We have some pasta here, house-made Alfredo sauce that we have here with our penne pasta. So Just who's your taste testers around. for something like this? Who approves it? Me. <laughs> She's like, make no well, mistake. Other people too, Chef yeah. Tia does. Well, I mean, like, I can't do everything. I do have a shellfish allergy. Oh. So, I mean. We're twinsies, right? Yeah, we, right, we were exactly. We talking that up before the show. So, that presents some issues. Yeah. So definitely have to, like, be careful with that. I'm, you know, I try my hardest to make sure that whatever I'm preparing, like, I can actually try it first. So that's what I do. Okay. And then, you know, I just kind of go from there. Okay. We're going to let you keep doing your thing, okay. Chef Tia, because we're going to come back. You're going to make that. You're going to make shrimp etouffee. Yes. And you're going to tell us where your restaurant is, too, because okay. I know you yeah. all are wanting to go there right now and try these amazing wings.